With the compounding of polymers or plastics, we clearly see a trend towards higher filled and high quality compounds. Examples are highly filled materials for particularly demanding applications, temperature sensitive applications, and biopolymers, which present new demands for the compounder and accompanying processes. The trend towards avoiding plastics in many applications in daily life actually does not affect BUS. Since with our technology we are not operating in the classical disposable or single-use sector. Our compounding technology is used to produce high-quality plastic products in the cable sector for houses, airplanes and automobiles. There, plastics and compounds will certainly not be banned in the near future. Rather, they will replace traditional materials, such as metals. Biopolymers have been dominating discussions for over 10 years now. I myself was also involved in the production and development of biopolymers for many years. Unfortunately, the applications for biopolymers are very limited due to still higher prices. Also, some characteristics do not yet meet the standard of conventional plastics. There is a great potential for Boost to enhance the quality of these bioplastics by compounding them with other substances. Bioplastics are generally more temperature sensitive by nature than conventional polymers. This is a perfect example of where the Boost needer can add value.